Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Janae if you're new here and this is my baby Sage and welcome if you're a returning subscriber. In today's video I am giving you some tips on baby acid reflux. She struggled with this a bit when she was younger that's why hence I'm creating this video. Um, one of you requested it actually a few weeks ago so I'm finally getting around to filming it. So I guess I'll give you a little bit of backstory of what her reflux was if it was diagnosed and you know a little back history of what she was dealing with and then I'll give you the tips that helped me and well that helped her um, ease and relieve the symptoms. Don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button and the bell if you're not already to see, to see more videos like this. All right let's begin. So she wasn't diagnosed with it by a doctor well by her pediatrician. I don't even think I ran it by him, honestly. All right, Sage, this is your channel now, because you never want me to talk, so this is your channel. This is Sage's channel now, guys. So hit that subscribe button if you just want to hear Sage talk all day. <laughs> How about we go back and forth? Like, I say a few things, you say a few things. Okay, we'll try it. All right, so she, like I said, she wasn't diagnosed with it. I just looked online the symptoms that she was dealing with. Um, so basically, she would have screaming fits for anywhere between 10 to up to 45 minutes occasionally. Normally it was about 10. Are you okay? You're so cute. Normally it was between 10 and 30 minutes. Did you swallow a lot of spit? And when I tell you it was non-stop screaming, it was like hysterical screaming crying. And she was never a super fussy or crying baby. Just every single night in the evening, about 10 to 30 minutes of uncontrollable crying. And I never really knew what it was. She was just screaming crying. So I was looking up what could cause it. And some people said maybe it was her stomach, digestive issues and stuff like that. Um, and then it came to the point where she was doing those screaming fits during the daytime too occasionally. So I'm like, okay, I thought this was just at nighttime. Now it's in the middle of the day sometimes. And I would try swaddling her. I'd try unswaddling her, obviously changing a diaper, seeing if she had a dirty diaper, feeding her. Um, she wouldn't want to eat. She didn't want the boobs. She didn't want to go outside. Even that didn't even help her. I tried swaying, rocking, bouncing all different positions of holding her, nothing, nothing, nothing would ease her crying. The only thing that helped a little bit was putting her in the, like a wrap on me and, you know, holding her skin to skin and then just holding her like that for a little while. That She was still screaming hysterical. Sometimes it didn't help at all, but skin to skin, that is one tip that did help. So I guess that'd be my first tip is do skin to skin when they're having those screaming fits. Even if dad is the one that has them and maybe you're not able to tend to them at the moment, I don't know, whatever your situation is, but try to do skin to skin with someone, mommy or daddy. Of course, I think, you know, if you're able, if you're the mom and able to be skin to skin with your baby, it definitely helps a lot because um, I know when my husband tried it, it didn't work at all. She would still be screaming. And then when I would hold her skin to skin, she would calm down a lot more. So that's my first tip. But back to, you know, what she was dealing with real quick. Um, so I would try to burp her also. I was just one day, I was just, you know, oh, going like this. And then eventually after like 10 straight minutes, she burped. She did a huge burp. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Does she have like burps every single night and is this why she's screaming? And lo and behold, every single night I would burp, burp, burp and it cut the screaming fits way down because right after she burped, sometimes she'd let out a big scream and then she'd calm down. So I figured she was having stomach issues because instead of straight 30 minutes crying, now it was less to 5, 10, 15 minutes because I'd know to burp her right away, start burping to get that air out of her system and that helped a lot. So burping is number two. Um, so anyway, so I figured she was having tummy issues. So disclaimer, I am not a doctor. 
I am not a pediatrician. I am not a nurse. So I am just purely sharing with you the things that I personally did with my baby that helped her acid reflux to resolve. I'm not telling you that you have to do this or that you should do this. Really, I'm just sharing with you what helped my baby in hopes that it can help your baby too if your baby is struggling with this. But again, I'm not a doctor, so if you feel comfortable, make sure you consult with your pediatrician first. Don't sue me. <laughs> oh, and also she was eating like she would barely, barely eat. Like she was eating every um, one and a half to two hours for like literally two minutes. So I'm like, maybe you can't, like maybe your stomach's like, you can't hold a lot down. And when you eat too much, you know, you get stomach issues or something. I don't know. I don't know. So like if I tried to give her more boob and like have her keep eating, um, of course I can't make her eat, but obviously, you know, if she pulled her head away and I'm like, here, come back, try it again. And she ate a little bit more. I would realize she spit up more when she did that. So for her, it was best for her to eat just a little bit, like every hour and a half to two hours, opposed of every two and a half to three hours, like most people recommend. So again, I'm a firm believer of listening to your body and that goes to the same for your baby. I know this world makes it to be like, oh, you have to like put your baby on this type of schedule. They have to follow this because they're a baby. They don't know what they want. They don't know. And for some things, yes, that's true. But for other things, I feel like, okay, it's your turn to talk. She's like, okay, mom, you talk long enough. It's my turn. Um, but anyway, so I feel like you should really try to listen to your baby as much as possible because again, just like us, no grown-ups are the same. Everyone's unique. What works for one person may not work for you. Same goes for children. If most people have their babies on a three to four hour eating schedule, maybe that doesn't work for your baby. And if you, you, if you try it, okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But if it's just not working, try not to force it because it's probably a good reason why it's not working and you should listen to that. Back to the, I guess I'll get into the tips now. So I first started with Wellman's organic grape grape water that helped a lot with her stomach discomfort she was having throughout the day. Um, like I said, when she started to have her screaming fits, it wasn't just at night. It, it ended up being at night and during the day too. So all throughout the day, I gave her the Wellman's grape water, which I'll link in my Amazon storefront down below. I believe I gave it to her right before feedings. Um, and that helped a lot. I saw that she was more comfortable throughout the day, less screaming fits, along with doing these other things that I'm gonna tell you, really helped to bring her screaming fits down to every other day and then every three days and then less often than not until it was fully resolved. Mama. Yes, because even though it wasn't diagnosed, she did everything I looked up online. She had like a mild form of acid reflux. So the next tip would be to keep their head elevated at all times. So even when they're not in your arms, like holding them up like this, even when you're doing diaper changes, keep their head elevated. Try not to have them flat at all at any point during the day even when they're sleeping. And I know this is controversial, but um, like when I'm doing diaper changes, I put her, like I laid her baby mat down and then a pillow. So her head was on the pillow and then I just changed her diaper. If you guys followed me for a long time now, since she was born, you'll see this in some of my day in the life videos where I have her head propped up um, and then change her diaper. When we were doing this, when I realized she had reflux, we were, co-sleeping so i was originally having her sleep in the snuggle me organic lounger in our bed but ever since realizing she had reflux and was flat i didn't put her in that to sleep i put her in the boppy the newborn boppy lounger which i will insert a picture here now i know again controversial to have them sleep in this any doctor will probably tell you do not let your baby sleep in that um, but I made sure it was all safe around the side and she wasn't very mobile at this point. If your baby's like four months old, 
don't do this i don't recommend this but she was like a month old I, and i did it for about a month and it worked for her she was swaddled most of the time and she just didn't like she wasn't rolling over obviously at this point and didn't move a whole lot when she was sleeping and even when she woke up she was just like laying there so she was secure i made sure of that um so that's just what i did so all throughout the night she was on an elevation in our bed so yeah that i know that helped a lot and then the next thing is when they are in your arms even when you're holding them when they're a baby she's seven and a half months old right now but i'll still demonstrate don't lay them like like don't hold them like this like you would most babies pretty much straight across um try to hold your baby up like this but if you do hold them like this make sure their head is higher up than their butt so it's not straight and this goes with feeding as well do not this is why i didn't use the boppy nursing pillow because you shouldn't nurse them straight so what i did i took a pillow like this she's huge now so this pillow <laughs> wouldn't work but when she was little this fluffy pillow worked good or a flatter pillow whatever works for you um but get a pillow and just kind of feed like this so that their body their butt their legs are down their head is up and then boop so that worked really really well this is how i nursed her um up until up until she was big enough to just hold you know without the pillow and until her reflux resolved and then the next tip would be after feedings hold them upright like straight up and down upright for at least 20 to 30 minutes even at nighttime so before i would lay her down um for sleep at night i would always just hold her like this she would go to sleep like this again controversial i know baby should go to sleep on their own okay but everyone's situation is different and especially if your baby has reflux like i said this just really helped with her reflux and if your baby's really struggling re with reflux sometimes you just need to ignore the outside voices and just do what you feel is right for your baby and what will help your baby and in this situation holding your baby upright for at least 20 minutes um after feedings and then laying them down will help a lot and like i said i would do this even though she was sleeping in the elevated boppy i would still do this just because this is more upright um but if you do lay your baby flat if you're not comfortable with using the newborn boppy lounger um for sleep that's totally fine but just try to hold them upright for at least 20 to 30 minutes before lying them flat on their back the next thing is try to avoid car seats and swings at least 20 to 30 minutes after feedings as well just because the position that the car seat that the baby has to sit in when in the car seat or the swings is pushes their the food from their stomach up and can cause them to spit up and also to have more stomach discomfort the next thing is give your baby organic probiotics daily so this is the one i use i use the wellman's organic probiotic drops um i tried a different one it made her stomach worse it made her stomach worse so i definitely recommend this specific brand again i'll link it below i still give i still give her this occasionally not every day but just you know for overall health so that helped a lot and then the last thing last thing if your baby is breastfed, you might have heard to give them vitamin D drops. Okay, yeah, that's not the safest thing. <laughs> Here, hold this. Um, vitamin D drops until they start eating more solid foods. So I have this baby D drops. It's liquid vitamin D3 drops. Um, I was giving this to her every day, but when I decreased it to every three days or so, again, her stomach discomfort became way less so i feel like that played a role as well don't give your baby vitamin d drops every single day if they are struggling with acid reflux um yeah so every three days or so is when i did it for her and that seemed to really work so that is all of my tips i know that was a little 
scattered sporadic um that's just life when you're filming with a baby and you can't fully concentrate so my apologies but i i hope you guys enjoyed this video and so yeah again this is what just helped with my baby um she had reflux i think she struggled from about a few weeks old and then we start i started implementing this and when i started implementing all the steps it was about a month or so a month and a half um until it was fully resolved yeah it was about six to eight weeks until it was fully resolved but i saw a really big difference within um within a few days of doing the Wellman's gripe water and then within a few weeks of implementing everything else it really really helped and cut her crying screw fits down drastically so i cannot recommend everything i just told you here enough um this is what i did so yeah you want to say a few final words <laughs> Yeah. We say bye. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> see you guys later. Look, yay! Bye. You did it. Good job. <laughs>